Today we're going to be playing Dragon's Lair for NES. Let's get this going. Now this is a game that most people tend to hate. And, well, most people don't even tend to make it by the first screen here. But I can understand that because it's not like most NES games. Uh, you know, you don't expect coming into it this type of gameplay. This isn't a game like Contra where you can just go rushing in and killing en enemies and you might think, oh, you know, I'm a knight, I can just go in and kill this thing with my sword, but it's not the you know type of game it is. This is more about trial and error and learning what to do and everything in this game is very, very precise. You need to know exactly where to stand, exactly where to jump, exactly when to walk. You know, it's that type of game and I think that that, you know, turns a lot of people off. For example, with this guy, he's going to throw two rocks, and right after that, I have to go after the two rocks, and then there's a snake right there, and then I hold down the button to kill him, and I hold the button down, you don't tap the button. You have to know everything like that. Okay, and there's going to be another snake. I'm gonna pass this guy coming up. There's gonna be a bat. I'm gonna kill the bat. Jump over this. If I can. Ugh, let me back up a little bit. I need a little momentum to make this jump. There we go. This guy's gonna throw another. Oh, hang on. It's this dude first. Alright. This guy will throw two rocks. Right after that's when I go. This guy keeps coming for some reason. That's one guy I haven't really figured out why he does that. All right, here's the guy. One rock, two rock, and I go. And there's a snake. Kill a snake. Darn it. And there's gonna be another snake at the end of this. There we go. And now another thing to know is right here, if you hit the start button, the A appears, then you jump, and that's how you get the axe, which is super important to have because you need it to beat the boss. Uh, well, you can beat it with the dagger, but it's good to have the axe, basically, because it's stronger. So we're going to make it under this spike, hopefully. And then we do a little tap jump. Don't jump too much. Reminds me of the, one of the jumps in uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on NES. Now we go right after that guy. I'm just going to walk right through that bat. I'm going to duck here, try to go under this guy. And he's going to throw two rocks. One, two, and then we're going. I took that hit, I know. And I'm going to duck again to go under these bats. And right after here, the snakes are going to start coming. I'm standing up. And here it comes. Any second. Now here, I'm hopefully going to kill these guys. I'm going to walk to the left. Jump, throw an axe, jump, throw an axe. And right after this, I'm gonna walk to the right because I gotta give myself some distance to be able to. There we go. Get a little closer to this guy. Okay. Get a little closer to this guy. And one more. Get a little closer. And that should be it. And it's really good to get through that with the uh, 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 with the axe because you're gonna kind of need it. But right here, I can make a jump. Right here, so you don't want to get off on that first platform, definitely. And this is the mine. All right, so I'm gonna go under this pillar, try not to get crushed. Turn around, kill a bat. Try to get under these pillars. Once I get the opportunity, kill this bat, keep going. This this C right here, that's the candle. We're going to be using that in a minute. I'm going to try to go under these pillars and not get crushed. Come on, pillar. All right, keep going. Let me turn around and kill this bat. Oh boy, these bats are a problem. 
Now this thing you want to walk with it. Because if you just stand on it, you pretty much you get, you get fucked up and you fall in. There's, gonna, there's a whirlwind here, and you want to like jump into it and then kind of tap really quickly, like a bicycle, and then to get over there. Here um, is the first time we're really going to be using the candle. You hit the start button, and you know you only got so much, but we'll get more of it. I'm going to go in a second and go. Don't, but don't worry, there should be more candle right over here. Right there, and I'm gonna get it. Okay, and also there's more energy because I'm about to die here, if you haven't noticed. So I just got energy, and that's filling up, so that's good. And we're gonna go across this platform. Again, with these platforms, you want to walk with the platform. And come on, I gotta wait for it. Kill this bat. Oh, fuck. Now I gotta take a, like, a leap of faith or something. <laughs> Somehow I just did that. That was the biggest luck in the whole fucking world. Oh my god, I don't know how the fuck I just did that. I got really lucky. Alright, so this guy, these guys basically, they're like lava men of some sort. And they each throw two um, rocks, I guess, each. And then we're going to stand up and hit them with the axe. One. Two. Throw an axe at this guy. Duck out of the way. One. Two. Throw an axe and duck. Okay. One. Two. It's like a rinse and repeat. Throw an axe and duck. Now the axes are stronger, so it shouldn't be too bad. Throw an axe, duck. One, two, throw an axe, duck. Okay, there we go, that's one guy. Now we're gonna crawl under this dude and stand about, huh, about here, maybe a little further up. One, two, stand and, ah. And duck. Okay. Duck. I think it was four hits with the axe killing this guy. So the next one I think should kill him. Hopefully. One more, one more. There we go. And that. That's that, those guys. Weird, like, lava trolls or something. But on this, we're gonna be going... Not there. You have to know the exact one to do. So we're going down. We don't want to do that. You want to go... And jump on this one. Because if you go in the wrong one, it can even take you back to the beginning, which that'll make you pull your hair out. There we go. So this is the fourth level, and this is probably the hardest part of the game. Alright, here comes the skulls. I'm going to throw my axes at them. And then I'm going to walk, walk, walk. Let's kill these guys. One, two, and three. We're going to walk, walk, walk. And hopefully I, I can get by this guy. Very good. We're going to jump up here. I'm going to wait for this tetherball thing to come around. And here we go. Walk right past that. Now I'm going to wait for these two to come together, I think. And that's when I'm going to go right here. And I'm going, and then I'm going to duck. And crawl, crawl, crawl fast. Good. And I'm going to wait these skulls out. One. Two, and I think there's three. Three, and then we're gonna do like a little half tap. Maybe by that. Come on, get up there. Oh, get up there. There we go. Now I wanna get by this ghost guy. Nice. I'm gonna duck so I don't get hit by the fucking skulls. Okay. 
Okay. Now, I, I really gotta look at the timing here to make sure I get this right. All right, here I gotta wait for the right moment. For that right moment to strike, which I think is right now, I'm gonna jump over this. Okay, this ghost, I want him to stay up. Hopefully he does. Kill some of these skulls in the meantime. Fuckers. I wish they would just stay gone after you kill them, but they don't. Because they're fucking assholes. And I'm gonna make that jump. Do you think I made a checkpoint at least? That'd be nice. Yeah, I did. Alright. Well, I'll use that for sure. Alright, so I'm gonna kill these skull dudes. And I'm jumping, and I'm going. I'm really not upset that I died back there because I feel like I needed more health anyway to get through that, to get through this section. So we're gonna go, jump, duck, stand, jump, duck, go. That's how you have to do that. That part is something that requires a lot of practice. Jump, and we're gonna jump again. And I wanna kill this fucking thing. All right, now we're going, and we're going, we're going, we're going. Good, made it to there. And I gotta wait out this fucking ghost dude. All right, we're going, we're going, we're going. And I'm standing, and I'm gonna jump past this. That's a death right there. Oh god, these skulls are not helping me. All right. So by hitting start, you can uh, bring up your candle to illuminate the room to find hidden objects, and that's how I got those points. I'm waiting for this. Hopefully I can make this jump. Now, this guy I want to pause up real high. Stun up real high, I guess I should say. And right here, after he throws his three things, I'm going to try to make this jump. There we go. And that's how you get by that section, which is not easy to do, by the way. All right, jumping up, getting the points. Walking along here. This ghost, basically, it drops twice. And then I'm going to go. And these spinning things, I want to do sort of a low jump past them, like jump, duck, stand, jump, duck, move forward, and then you stand up. This guy, you want to stun him high in the air like that, and after he throws a little rock, like there, I'm going to go. And again, these platforms, you walk with them, make sure you walk with them, like this. And then this guy, just walk past. And now we're going to fight the boss, this is the Grim Reaper, and the deal with this guy is basically he raises his arm up and down, and it's all about position, the position of where you're standing, and the position of where his arm's at. So he has three different arm positions, low, medium, and high, and you want to stand behind his low fireball. His arm's high there. It's sort of like medium, I think. That might be low, actually. Anything other than, other than this, I'm going to duck if he moves his arm. If he keeps his arm down here, that'd be fucking nice. There, that was up, and then there you go, just ducked under it. And now we're going to go to the last level here. You got to pay attention here, though, because this elevator, you got to get off right on the first one. So, here we go. And now we've entered the dragon's lair. Oh, and I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be hard. All right, I'm gonna duck and kill this guy. They take a lot of hits with this knife, dagger. And duck and kill this guy. What I'm really gonna need to kill this end boss is the, the ax, if I can find it on this level. These um, bubbles, are kind of like the bats or the skulls. They will uh, they'll hurt you a little bit, but not too badly. Oh shit! Can I kill him? Come on, die! All right. Fortunately, I didn't get hit by that. Oh, actually, there is the axe. I'm gonna try to grab that if I can. Without dying. Fuck! Shit! I 
guess I hit the dragon. But I got, got what I wanted. At least I have the axe. All right, I gotta jump up and get the gold. Trigger this fucker out. Should be a lot easier to kill now that I have the axe. Avoid the bubble, don't wanna take even minimal damage. That makes them much easier to kill. Alright, took care of him. Oh, fuck. This guy's coming again. You know, I'm not being that slow. That must not really be the reason. Please leave me a comment and let me know what the reason is that those guys come. Because that's one thing I have not figured out. Alright, gonna jump up and get this gold. Trigger out this little baby dragon here. Oh, wait, is the fucking dude coming? Yep. Now is the dragon gonna come back is the question. No. See, that's what I like about that guy. He gets rid of the dragons. Fuck. Did not need to get hit there. Not that I ever need to get hit. It's baby smog. Baby smog. Is it smog or smog? Let me know, because I'm not necessarily much of a elvish expert. Is that even an elvish word? probably, you know, a little bit responsible. Lord of the Rings is a little bit responsible for this game, I guess, with the dragons and everything. That's one thing I wonder about Zelda is, you know, I'd like to ask Miyamoto if he ever read The Hobbit, if I ever interviewed him, that's, I think, what I would ask him. Because I wonder if Link is somewhat based on, you know, the elves and Lord of the Rings, if that's what he was thinking. Um, Alright, so this D, it's gonna get rid of my axe, and that is not what I want, so... I need to not get that. Ah, fuck. Alright. Here we go. Okay, kill this fucking asshole. Here we go. I need to be like... Alright. Wow, let's see if I can do this. Wow! Thank fucking god, because I do not want to have to fight Pete's dragon here, Smaug, with uh, the fucking axe. So, here we go. Alright, here we go. Let's try this shit. Okay, good, good, good. Good. Alright. How many axes? What are these guys? Fucking figment? Okay. Alright. Good. Okay, good. Duck, good. Oh my god. Figment. Oh shit. Fuck you, Smog, Smaug, whatever your fucking name is. Congratulations, no, congratulations, our hero has triumphed. Daphne is saved from Singe's evil clutches. Singe, Singe's, not Smaug. <laughs> May you both live happily ever after, question mark, dot, dot, dot. That's like the end of, um, Batman the movie, if you ever saw the 1966 Batman movie, it ends with question mark, as if there was going to be a sequel. Anyway, that is uh, Dragon's Lair for NES. It is a game that requires a ton of um, trial and error and memorization, and it's still hard, even if you do that. <sighs> Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Oh.